hi guys welcome to this video in this video we are going to create an electric scooter using grio parametric so let's get started first of all um, let me just tell you how to download this part for your personal use because uh, most of them are facing an issue for downloading this part so that's why first of all let me download my own part in this video and then i can i will show you how to assemble those parts okay so first of all let me open my browser so this is our channel page so you can access this part only by um, joining as a member with the 29 rupees of basic membership so once you join as a member you can come into our channel home page where you will find a, um, a video which is only for the members okay and then when you click on that video either you can click on that video or else in this video itself i will attach a link for the 3d model you can see here the same link i will i will be attached in this uh, video also okay you once click this link and then you can able to see uh, like a google form is opening so you have to enter the password don't worry the password is on the end of this particular bicycle modeling video okay so this video is pinned on our channel home page okay you can check on this video and at the last like three to five seconds uh, password will be shown on this video you can have the password and you can enter your password in here okay so yeah i will pin this video link even in the description and the drive link on also in this description okay so once you enter in enter the password here you can able to access the drive link okay so the drive link will be shown after you enter into the password there so after that you will be directed to this page so here you see all these part modeling you can access all this part modeling by just 29 rupees okay with just 29 rupees of membership you can download all these modelings okay so here we have uh, like um, i have said previous itself you can see the tractor modeling and on the latest we have done a jcp modeling here with the hydraulic uh, functional full functional thing and the laptop rolling chair v6 engine tractor modeling okay so you can have a look on our channel home page so whatever we have done okay so here i have attached a div folder for this electric scooter like, let's click on that and here we have an images so right now i haven't uploaded any images okay so i will upload that uh, like a front view right view top view and other views for your project works or something else okay so for that i will upload images right now so here we have a creo version to file so when you click here you can see this is the analysis definition for the playback purpose okay you can also access this by downloading it and back tire this is a body part and this is a final assembly and this one is front tire and this one is handle part so it will consist around four parts one assembly and one analysis definition okay so i recommend you guys to download all these parts by a single download as a zip file don't download it as a separate separate file because uh, someone will face uh, some issues right so i have received many comments on our bicycle video on our jet engine video that most of the parts are not getting loaded i think uh, like the like regeneration issue is coming so i recommend you guys not even download here you can go for the electric scooter on this file you see creo version file so directly click on download here okay once you click on download you can be able to see like a pop up on the bottom like preparing download for the like zip file so once your download is ready you can see downloaded so this one is i like uh, previously i should have verify right before uploading a video i should verify myself whether um, this drive link is working or not so that's why i have downloaded and i have deleted that you can see it is removed so now we have downloaded okay so let me just uh, show it to you so here you can see it is a compressed zip file so here you see all the parts and one definition is here let me close this okay so this is like applicable for all the parts okay not only for the electric scooter we can access all the parts by the same way okay so okay that i think uh, the like this thing is over you can close this so once we get into the creo let's go for the open either you can unzip the file or you can zip the file also so we don't want to unzip um like uh, it will take some time but even if you want to save the part you can go and unzip but i'm just going to show you by zipping itself okay 
by opening on the zip file itself sorry we came into desktop let's go for the downloads so here we have a zip file now yeah here you can see all the four parts and an ultra scroll right so let's open the assembly yep so let me hide all these datum planes and let's go for the shading with reflections so this is our path so here we have see um i've done this entire part in our live session guys so i will have some sort of reference sketches here okay so this is my own reference sketches for creating this part so okay so no worries you can directly hide those sketches okay so once you hide that it won't come again okay so here also for this handlebar i just have created a profile for the reference so this is our electric scooter so once you download this part everything will be fully constrained guys like including the motors server motors and once you download the analysis definition you can also directly go for the playback itself okay so everything is fully completed here and uh, yeah so i think most of the guys will have a question on how i created these parts like we have four parts right so all these separate four parts are done in our live session itself so i will pin the live session link on the description so you can go and check that okay for creating the parts even the assembly also done in the live session but uh, if you don't have uh, enough time to watch that i am i am just going to assemble this part one more again in this video so that you can able to uh, get an idea how i did this assembly okay so here first of all um yeah first of all let me just open the parts separately so this is the body part okay yeah okay so let me close everything and let's go for the assembly let it be asm itself okay so this is for just a reference so mms asm design abs planes let's have to activate all these default planes and now i'm just going to assemble so here we are getting into the downloads right so the first part will be body part so body part i am just going to place this as a default constraint okay so now the next assembly is going to be our handle part so for the handle part i am just going to use the pin mechanism okay so for that uh, i think axis yeah here we have an axis and uh, okay i think i have an issue wait 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 okay no problem we can have this sweep line okay and for the face click on this surface and click on this surface but this is not going to be a coincident here we have a distance value of 30 okay so we got assembled but the next thing is we have to insert the rotational axis because you see it will be fully rotated right so we don't want it like this we need to specify some angles for rotating so for that i'm just going to create a rotational axis where i am going to add a minimum and maximum limit for the rotational so here so this is handle part dtm1 okay good and this is assembly pane front good so now let me just go for the top view to have a better view yep so let me just place this so what is this this is 90 degree position okay so let me just keep it as a 90 position and towards on the other side i'm just going to yeah this is going to be my minimum limit so let me just enter a value of 150 here so like yeah sorry so here i'm just going to add minus 180 okay 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 done so here minus 180 and here 150 so now you see our handle part will stop at the position of 150 degree from the center plane okay from the zero reference like so this will be the zero reference so it will be rotated up to 150 so this is our maximum limit so our minimum limit we can like this is our 90 so from 90 it will go for 150 so 60 degree on the left side and from the 90 towards back side it will be minus 
so it will be 90 minus 60 is equal to 30 so it will be 30 on the other side so directly enter the value of 30 and the current position will be also 30 right so now once you see so this is what we have done okay so from here 60 degree and from here 60 degree okay yeah i think it is correct right yeah good so once we done this we can click on ok and we have assembled our second part okay so you can also verify by using this drag option okay good so the next thing that we are going to add is front tires and back tire so the first one we are going to assemble is the front tire so same we are going to assemble it by using a pin mechanism as it is a electric scooter we can't be able to provide a belt mechanism where this entire scooter is going to drive by using a servo motors which has been attached on the back rim itself okay so that power supply will be provided by uh, you can see a cabling line here to the battery on the bottom okay so here let me pin yeah axis axis and either you can select the plane i'm just going to select this center plane and we can't be able to select the assembly front plane i think this is the handle part front yep okay good so now you see it is got assembled so now on the back i'm just going to assemble the back tire same pin mechanism select the axis select okay axis okay so let's select this front plane and like it is very complicated to select this front plane yeah so and then we can wait i think this one body part okay this is not datum 2 this one is datum 2 okay we can have a view here this one body part datum this one is not okay no 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 yeah body part front datum plane okay so now we can have a cross check here yeah it is got fully placed then let's click on okay so that's all guys simple right we have assembled everything so the next thing is we have to attach the servo motors so directly go for the applications mechanism and then servo motors select this pin joint and entry one quantity same angular velocity and coefficient of 30 then repeat the same for the this directions also okay so that's all guys our part is done okay so this is how we have to create that so after creating everything i have done uh, if you want to move this particular handlebar you can also add one more servo motors in this also but here you see you have to start stop that on a particular angle because we have done 150 right so our model may get broke so instead of that i have i have done the playback itself so you can directly download and use that okay so let me just open the assembly that i have shared yeah this is assembly right so yeah everything is good let's hide this one and this one okay good guys so now it is fine right so here three motors one is for back and one is for front and one is for the handle okay so after that we can go for directly go for the mechanism analysis and we can run the part okay so before that i'm just going to a good scene here for a background like background uh, scene so here now you can see it look like a realistic rims like everything look like a realistic right so yeah so now we can directly go for the mechanism analysis so i think you may have some questions on the color okay so for the color let me show like you can see how much color we have in this part so the main green color is plastic red so i think this one is plastic red yeah you can go for that and you have to edit the color so here you can see the rgb code in here so you can note this down okay 
so full color it will be like this other than this mist black and painted red and dark you can adjust the green color by yourself so this is metallic okay so everything is good so oh, sorry this one is a rubber okay under the mist you have rubber and this one is metallic so this one is also a rubber color okay and the detailing let me just see the detailings of this part so here like i have designed a seat so everything is designed with, like i designed this entire part by having a reference on the image on google i don't know the exact brand of this electric scooter but suddenly when i see that um yeah i got an idea for creating this part okay so you see two servo motors and the connection for coming for the what is this like a battery okay battery which has been placed on this rims so then apart from that like a backlight reflector we have inserted our software name over there and uh, yep indicators left and right here also we have our channel name and here so this is for the front light you see how i done this by using this trap tapper option by tapper option and uh, for the coloring i have used metallic coloring so that's why it looks like a exact reflecting light right so yeah so that's all i think everything we have done here and we have text over here on our channel name and yeah everything is good so now we can go for the playback okay so i think this angle is good so now for the playback you can directly go for the mechanism and go for the playback and on the open section let's go for the downloads and like the zip file that you have and inside that you have one definition here double click it once check that whether your result set is there you can directly go for the playback then this particular handle will move forward for the zero position like you said yeah it has gone for a zero position so now let's increase the speed and make it as a loop and we can play it okay you see the tires are moving side by side the handlebars are moving towards us right so that's all guys so thanks for watching and i like definitely i will pin the live session on our uh, uh, in this video link so you can have an access for how i created this part okay and most of them are requested for uploading a separate separate video for the jcb part so i have almost done around five parts like five separate videos so from tomorrow i will upload videos on jcb modeling so i think around we have around uh, seven to eight videos okay so as you guys have requested i am going to upload it as a part by part okay so that you can have an access for all the parts okay so thank you guys we will see the next video with a very very interesting content until then bye